Oh, yeah, support animal ID. So first of all, in America, all papers are invalid. The Americans with Disabilities Act says no one can issue certification for a dog. Second, support dog isn't yeah. the right wording. This Third, is... emotional support animal, which is a thing, and there are papers for, don't have public access, but do have access to rentals and travel, like yeah. trains, planes, and hotels. But I told Ali, I said, you know, it's, it's a point that you really showing that to people is like it's a crime. It's California Penal Code uh, th uh, 365.7. It's a misdemeanor, and you do like six months in jail for it. And it also sets a bad example so other people come along that don't have such papers and are doing yeah. things right. It can. That's why I'm poor. That's why I'm destitute. That's why I have so many problems in my life. It's people take the lazy way out and do that. And, and show fake papers, yeah. and it causes everyone problems. Because the, ne well, the next person, like, why don't you have the papers? This other guy's got the how card. Easy it is, you know. You just go online, tell them what kind of dog you got, send them a picture, and you can send them a picture of a bucket full yeah. of shit. Yeah. It makes no difference. It's, it's and those companies bucks. are Indian companies. They're not American because yeah. American companies will get prosecuted yeah. for frogs or fake papers. And those same companies sell things like. COVID vaccine cards. You can trick people into thinking you're vaccinated. It's fake paper. It's a nightmare. Yeah. And showing people papers for service dogs is one, a crime, and two, very, very disrespectful to the community because that helps keep people. The, the, while the law says no one can issue certification for a dog, it also says owners are allowed to self-train, which opens up a world of possibilities yeah. for poor people. A poor person, poor disabled yeah. person can rescue a shelter dog, and then you're fine. Yeah. Uh, but twenty thousand dollar trained service dog, those yes. need to be left for yeah. a blind person. Like how are they gonna train their own dog? Well, I had when I lived up in the Bay Area when I was a teenager, I had a pit bull. And I had this was back in the late seventies. I people had, trip on that breed a lot. Oh yeah. They're, but the law they, they are with ADA, time. you're they're legal. They are what they're taught. That's yeah. my opinion of them. That their, their main aggression is towards other dogs anyway. It's not people. And they're, and they're trained to fight dogs. They're, they're, they're never been they're good had, family dogs. I had 19, and this is back in the 70s, $19,000 worth of training. I didn't pay a dime for it because I knew the trainer. He did it for a friend. But it was bomb training, rape training, gun training. I mean, this dog had it. You could tell her to sit, put a cigarette on her nose, and walk away, come back tomorrow. She's still sitting there with that. And I, I kind of did that one with the palm. I had to shoot it because uh, this one little girl used to walk by and where my sidewalk, where the grass stopped and the sidewalk began, she wouldn't cross that line. And you could stand right there and hit her, she wouldn't do nothing. So you cross, touch that grass, she got your ass. This little girl used to come get the newspaper out of the driveway and throw it at her. She was out in the front yard. So I was across the street. Like bullying it? Yeah. Throwing the newspaper at the dog and I was across the street at the French house talking. And she did, I said, hey, you know what? That dog's gonna get you one of these days. Stop doing that, don't do that. She will get you. Well, one day the little girl came walking by through the paper, missed the dog and came up on the lawn to get the paper. And she locked on that baby's leg. That's and, criminal trespass and, and she I was hit, doing it as part of an assault battery. I hit that dog three times with a bat and he wasn't letting go. When the cops got there, the cop got ready to shoot. I said, that's my dog, give it here. I just shot the girl. Fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> well, they took me to court. They tried suing me. I don't like bullies. I got a problem they, with they bullies. They tried suing me for it. And, uh, Bitch, they liable. Okay, Committing a crime while trespassing, okay, you have the right what, to sick the dog on it. Judge, I just read friend. Castle Doctrine. There's shit going on here with my landlord. Look, yeah. I just researched California. Uh, uh, that, that's a fucking 100%. Uh, no the question. trainer actually came to court with me and it showed his licensing and explained all the training the dog had. And the judge found it in my favor because a little girl tormented the dog hunting. and came on the dog's property. Yep. Yeah. She got bit, that stuff shit. That's what Castle Doctrine says, that you have the you have the presumption of imminent injury if someone trespasses your onto your residential your property your and commits another crime besides yeah. trespass. Not just being there, but assault and battery on the dog, yeah. Again, I shot the girl. I don't like bullies. Who who fucking thinks it's funny no, I don't. to hit a dog for no yeah. reason? Now, I'll spank a dog. Yeah. You yeah. gotta fucking train your dogs. Well, You're just, responsible for it. It's just like a kid. This is where you spank them at. You don't hit them in the face. You don't yeah. kick them. You don't, you know. Yeah. The like parents have been watching for that. It's like a kid, man. I'll spank a kid. I'm not gonna hit him in the face. I'm not gonna hit him with a bell or then Swat that ass with that hand and they, yeah. you got their attention. But now that's a crime. Yep, it is. 
Thank you. Yeah. Kids go to jail. I'm weird on that one too. Like my parents were very violent and abusive. Well, there, but they, no question they took it too far. There's teaching you and getting your attention, and then, then there's the violence. That's yeah. what I've said. To teach a child specific things and torturing animals was one of the things I included. That and thievery. And the point is to teach empathy. And I'm a big anti-religious guy because I'm not anti-religious, but I my the way I look at it, I got went out with a girl whose parents and everybody were Jehovah's Witnesses. Oh boy. And her mom used to always try to You shouldn't have gone out with her then and allowed to do well, that. Well, her mom started preaching that shit to me. I said, Look, I got my beliefs, you got yours. Don't push yours on me, I won't push mine on you. Everybody's got a right to believe what they want to believe, you know. That's the way I look at it. Mom, the way I look at it is that if you force shit on children, it's abuse. And religion it takes you away from logic and reason. And what we need to do is teach children empathy. Hey, if you hurt that person, the, yeah. their quality of life degrades. They'll be sad and depressed. They will perform less in their life. They'll be injured by that. They won't do their job as well. Right. They're part of your community too. Whatever their function in the community is, you've reduced their quality of life and turned around and shot yourself in the foot because you're damaging, num damaging another you member of your community. Up there? Empathy. Something. What? See, something's got her attention. Well, come on, let's go finish our walk. Get hot out here. Empathy. You know what the fucking maggots, the maggot people are calling empathy now? Huh. Being woke. Being woke means waking up to other people's problems, realizing what other people are going through. Yeah, the, the, the plight of Latinos don't affect us because we're white, but but those are still people. Like. Yeah, I mean, well, I like this border thing. I don't think we need to stop them from coming up here, but do it the legal way. Come across the bridge, show your ID, let us know you're here. Well, it's very difficult to do that, though. We, there's limits, there's strict yeah. limits. And the law that Biden proposed, that the Republicans shot down because they didn't want to take Trump's talking point away, what Biden said was put a limit on it, and when it crosses a certain number, we're going to stop everything, asylum included, like there's just a cap. I just it's read the a thing on one of the news the time that came over my phone that uh, a judge, and they made sure to say that it was a Trump-appointed judge, uh, found the fact that uh, the Biden administration did the... Uh, what is that, where they, they uh, override shit. The president can override stuff. Vetoes. He, uh, when he stopped the wall that Trump had started, it, it, he was guilty of because environmentalism should have been involved in it. And oh, nobody, yeah. Nobody ever took a vote, which I agree with that. You can't build a wall across the continent. What the animals are going to do? You can't do that. Look, the idea look, is fucking look, stupid. Look at all the shit they did in the, the desert. I mean, the illegals coming over here. There's crap in the bushes, trash that they're leaving. Come over here. Yeah, that that's true. They're that. littering bad hikers, but they're surviving and they don't have a chance. They're not recreating going to the woods and going on a little camping hike. All right. They're fucking surviving. They, they don't want to. Now, once the water bottle is empty, it's extra weight you got to carry. Like, yeah. you, it's unfortunate, but it's the oppression that's causing the problem. Yeah. Kind of like cannabis. In the, the illegal part is what causes the problem, not the cannabis itself. All right, let's go to and finish our walk. Oh, by the way, dude, if you watch YouTube, um, Dr. Canis is the service dog channel, D-O-C-T-A space C-A-N-I-S. That's trained dog in Latin. And it's a little hard to, you know, it's a different language. So uh, the hard tard, really easy to spell and remember. And there's links in the description to all the other channels. And it'll show you what's going on with your neighbor here. And we got a, a bug infestation and fucking, oh, yeah. she's crazy. She says she was Steve McQueen's wife. It's dead serious. This woman says she, the ugly fat bitch that lives here says she's I've, Steve I've McQueen's wife. She's got a little dog that comes to the window. Yeah, that's major. And she'll give her treats if she's out here. Yeah, there you go. She's nice. Yeah, she likes yeah. dogs. I've seen her out here. Yeah. Well, she's nice unless she don't like you. Well, she's nice. And that's the way my mom was. She don't like illegals. Ass. She don't like gays. Yeah, I got a gay step. She's Catholic. I, I, and she's I a forced it? birther, too. She doesn't believe in abortion, including rape and incest. No, that, that's when I do believe. I mean, if the chick laid down and had sex and got pregnant on her own will, that's her fault. 
But if she was raped or molested by a, you know, incest and all that, yeah, get rid of it. Don't wait till you're nine months pregnant. I don't want to live in a society with rapist babies running around. I said, uh, you know, right. genetics what you pass on right. shit. I don't, I don't want my family dealing with a rapist baby right. out here. That sounds like a recipe for trouble. Too much prison time to fucking like somebody that's into raping women. I mean, how can you get enjoyment out of that? Then why would you want to have a rapist baby? That seems like a bad trait. I have a hard time with women. I have a, like I don't I don't rape women. What's your excuse? I fucking don't. I got nothing. I, I have a, what, and you, what, what are you gonna say? I, I, I don't. I don't see what it would be enjoyable to be having to force yourself. On I don't. Drugs. I don't get that at all. I don't like any like with there, porn and stuff. No I don't like any of that no, fucking. Bondage and tying up, and some people are into that though. Yeah. Keep it out of my house. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you guys have a good one. All right, take it easy. Enjoy your walk. Oh, yeah. Hey, Mama, listen. I gotta pay attention to the fucking mail more, more often to make sure. Uh, I can't trust Ramon anymore, but I was. This is mine right here. What? And here's another thing from the court, and it's got the peat on there, man. I really don't like that peat, you know. The only reason that's on there is because... She put it because she told me she saw an ID that, that, that said it. Bullshit, there was photocopies of my ID and some of the flyers y'all handed out. Uh, the, the joke comes from, I am a Peter because I suck him. That's it. That's all there is. Colton Wood is the legal name, and I always go by Mr. Wood or Big Wood. John made a crack about it because I'm gay. Or white, gay, whatever, LGBTQ+. John told her that, that it's an ID said Pete. Nope. You've seen my ID. It was in the flyers. It's not nothing to do with me whatsoever.